How you doing guys? It's me, your boy Jeb Romeo, and uh, I'm here to talk to you today about some very, very important issues that are going on in the world. For instance, uh, nuclear bombs. Uh, they, they can take us out, you know what I'm saying? Clear Pepsi, where did it go? Uh, I want to know where the Crystal Pepsi went. Uh, cause, cause when I go to, every time I go to the grocery, I look for A, Ecto Coolers, B, High C, Banana and Strawberry Flavored, and then I look for Crystal Pepsi every single time. I'm let down by each one of them. Once in a while, you get the High C deal, but that really doesn't matter, cause I want the Crystal Pepsi. Uh, also, motor oil, and I'm not really down with that. I'm not feeling that. I truthfully like to, when I'm feeling like a witch, I just like to get on a broomstick and I like to just fly around the world, you know, up to Peter Pan land and dance around like a fairy. But if you're a fairy, then I'm not making funny. I'm just saying, like, if I want to feel like a witch, I'm just going to hop hop on this broom and I'm just going to go. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's how Jed Romeo rolls. Anytime I want to go somewhere, I just grab my broomstick and I'm just like, bam, I'm gone. Jed Romeo's like out there a million miles away. Like he's shooting fish in a barrel up in like Mars or something. That's what I'm saying. Because Mars is like, it's like the seventh planet out there. But we're getting closer to it every day. Uh, pretty soon we're going to be living up there. Jed Romeo's going to be the first to be there. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, when it really comes down, when the aliens come to the earth, they're going to be like, hey, Jed Romeo. I'm going to be like, yes, sir. And they're going to be like, please come with us. But they're going to be speaking up. Bleep! all alien language and whatnot right but I know how to understand them because I've been reading my books how to talk like an alien I, I wrote the book I mean hell I can read it no one else understands the mumble jumble that I'm spitting but I got it you know because I'm gonna be the man that saves the world I'm gonna repopulate all the ladies all of them like all at the same time it's gonna be it's gonna be nasty I'm, I'm thinking like I, I'm hoping it's one of them just like grabs my nipples or something it just starts like twisting them like a big like purple nipple because those motherfuckers hurt, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, but like when that's going on, I want some girl to take some jelly and I want to just put it on my toes and just start sucking. Maybe get some like peanut butter and we can make like a, we can make like a Jeb Romeo peanut butter and jelly and toast sandwich. Preferably served on like wheat bread or something, you know, because that way it's still kind of healthy on me. Don't mind the hairs that they get in your mouth. That's all I'm saying. Like, I mean, it'll brush out. I mean, it's not big deal. Like, if you gotta like pick it out, I mean, that. That ain't no big thing, because you know what else? I'm a dentist. Oops, surprise. Jeb Romeo, he's, I'm also an amateur, amateur, if I can say that word today, I'm amateur dentist. You know, I mean, look at my teeth. Check them out. Check that girl out. You know what I'm saying? I'll just get in there. I'll be like, come on, little tooth. You want to come with me? Okay, Jeb Romeo. And Jeb Romeo's going to take that tooth right out. We'll get the tooth out. We'll get the hair. We'll, like, mix up your saliva with, like, the sucky thingy. I don't know what that is yet. Like, I had not even used it. I just let them bleed. I probably shouldn't have said that. Um, I do lots of stuff. I'm a dentist. I like billiards. I have a very big collection of child stuffed animals. Not that I need them, but I like them because they make me feel like I'm in control because they're weaker than me. And maybe they're not weak. I mean, I bet you they got hearts and I bet you they really take it personal when I like punch them in the face or something. I just stab them in the ear with a pencil. Or, you know, whenever I'm just like sitting down drawing in my Looney Tunes you know, crayon book, but with crayons, but like I had a pencil because I, I went outside the line, so I started to like darken the line a little bit so you couldn't see the color. That's how I like to do it when I'm just, uh, you know, coloring in my coloring book. I got like a lot of like kids and stuff that, you know, they always want to see my drawings and I always just want to be like, hey, here's a drawing of a dinosaur. Go put that on your fridge and then go make me a pie. That's what I like to say to them and a lot of times they make me pie. It's delicious. I love pie. And who doesn't love pie? You tell me who doesn't love pie. Jeb Rome is gonna show up at the door and be like, excuse me, yeah, you don't like pie? And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna punch him right in the face. Cause that's, I mean, that's a major disrespect to me when if, you know, if I like the pie and you, you don't, I mean, you got, we really gotta like meet levels, you know, see eye to eye, like connect as one, like De La Soul, TLC, BB Mac. The Backstreet Boys, anything, like New Kids on the Block, first and foremost. I mean, I sh they should have been mentioned a long time ago. New Kids on the Block, I mean, where did they go? That was some natural singing boy band talent. Mmm. That's all I'm saying. I'm like, if you really, if you really want to get into the logistics and the schematics of the whole thing, you just got to wonder, like, who was the greatest boy band of all time? You know, MC Hammer. I mean, New Kids on the Block, like, they had it made. 
MC Hammer was good too though, you know, you know what else I love? Snow Peace. Snow Peace are good. Where is Richard Grieco, by the way? Richard Grieco was in the movie, he was driving like a yellow Lamborghini or something like this, and then Richard Grieco comes out of nowhere, and Johnny Depp wasn't anywhere to be found. He's probably over in like the islands or something with his hot ass wife. Mmm. Yeah. Hot ass wife and some kids, you know, they got like an island, they got like the, uh, the, the palm trees and the breeze. I heard they shipped in the breeze from Indonesia though, because they don't like like the, the breeze of the France because it comes off the water or something. I, you know, I didn't really, you know, read the whole article posted on that live journal that particular day. Toss me the football, I'll take it in for the touchdown, you know, embrace me, let me in, that's all I'm saying. You know, maybe when this is all done, we can go get some milkshakes or something with some fries, because damn, those are good. Or we could go, go to like Chickies and Pizza or something. We could go to Philly, go to some Chickies and Pizza, get some crab fries with the cheese sauce. That's what I'm talking about, man, right there. It's, it's all about it. And they got like the chicken cutlet sandwiches. Then maybe we'll get some cheese steaks. I don't know what we'll do. I mean, we got all day. We could really do I mean, we could go figure skating or something. They got like this rink. Now, I don't have skates, but you can rent skates. But, and you rent the figure skates. So whatever. I figure that's cool. We could just go, you know, get some sexually transmitted foot diseases or something like that and just have a ball i mean hey you know what i double back my socks actually no i quadruple my socks when i'm when i'm ice skating i'm like the little fat kid on the track like wobbling all around like trying like i can't slow down but i gotta because i mean i'm not the best skater in the world okay you know i'm no tanya harding or nancy kerrigan some fine ass ladies tanya harding by the way she had a sex tape it's on the internet it's not that good i probably wouldn't have sex with her and yes i would sex takes popping up out of nowhere and I'm just like when's Jeb Romeo gonna get it probably when I start having sex for like the first time in my life I didn't mean to say that if I could have a sex tape sure I mean I'd watch it sometimes I like to just go to Sizzler and just sit by myself and get like a huge like really big like super huge steak with some with some mashed potatoes and gravy or something and then I like to just slam my face just right onto the plate Cause I don't feel like the steak. I just go there to burn money. I go there to show that Jed Romeo got his. You know, I don't, I don't even like steak, okay? But I'll go there anyway, just so I can see the waitresses. You know, the ones I'm talking about, they, they usually got the gaps in their teeth, but it's cool though, they're great girls. Like they just, you know, they just want to party. That was just one girl that I met one time who never called me back. And I took the steak to go. I ate the steak later. No, I fed it to my dog. I even have a dog, but if I had a dog, I like I'd feed it to him. I'd name him like Mutt or something. Chris Tucker, crazy name like that. Just you know, show him who's boss. Like Tony Danza. That's what that. That's the things that I think about from day to day. Just being Jed Romeo. You know.